Yeah, hi. In uh, this video, I want to show you how to use Excel to do regression analysis. And this is the homework assignment you have. Uh, so let me go over it quickly. It says, suppose cars.com would like to describe the relationship between the odometer, the mileage of used 210 Ford Explorers and its asking price. So do you have an Excel file, uh, which is explorer.xlsx, which contains data for uh, 40 used explorers uh, so uh, just keep in mind that the uh, asking price is the dependent variable and the mileage on the car is the independent variable and we want to be able to to do this analysis we want to construct a scatter plot for the data identify the slope and the y-intercept uh, provide an interpretation and find the linear relationship. Uh, use the linear relationship, which is called also the estimated regression equation, to estimate the price of a car or an explorer with 36 miles and compute or identify the correlation coefficient. Okay, so you have this handout uh, also, so you can you can see that this is the correlation function and you can go over it. It's quite simple and when you go over uh, to do the regression also gives you the instructions here and it gives you the steps. So if you go here that's your first step, second step, third step and then you go down here you follow four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it tells you what steps to do and explains them here uh, until then this is your output. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, let's do this uh, on the data set. So this is my again because it seems like I didn't do it correctly. So first you highlight your data all of it and then you go to the insert function, you go to charts, you click on this and there's your data and so that's a, a scatter plot which shows that uh, downward trend and if you look at the overall trend it's going downward a little bit ever slightly with uh, uh, is there a linear relationship yeah the, the lines we can fit the line across the data so I would say it's linear we need, so we need to confirm that by doing the regression analysis okay so the next thing maybe so we want to see if there's a high correlation in the data so I want to calculate the correlation coefficient so if I go here I click equal and uh, correlation is C O R uh, this is my correlation function double click on it so this is it tells me this first array should be this and I don't want the miles here I just want the data and need a comma uh, the second array and close and hit return and so it shows me the slope of a correlation actually a correlation which a negative correlation which I expected from the scatter diagram of point a negative point four six five uh, now if I want to do my regression analysis I would click on data I go to data analysis and you should have uh, by now install that on your computer or added it as an add-in and, and now I got this window here I go to regression so this is the one I want double click on it and this is my Y range my Y is the dependent variable which is the price so I click here and I go here and I want to include now the price because I want the labels I want my answers to be labeled and then I go to the, my X range is the independent variable so it's important to note that I included the mile and the price here but because I did that I need to click on labels if I don't do that something is going to go wrong and the rest of this is basically this is if I want confidence intervals for my when I estimate the parameters uh, the output range uh, so if you I can click on this and put my output somewhere here but I want a new worksheet and the handouts they give you a 
output range here also we have other stuff we can produce like residuals normal probability plots uh, and I ignore these just one we want the basics now I click OK and there I have my output uh, sometimes you want to enlarge these cells so you can see things clearer I'd like to do that to and so what what do we have here first we look here so this is my R the correlation coefficient and here uh, it's 0.46 the same as we got with the correlation it doesn't give me the sign here uh, the R square so that's phi squared which is the coefficient of determination uh, you, you can ignore this the adjusted R square and the standard error Wait a minute, did I do something wrong here uh, no and that's the number of observations uh, which is 40 I have 40 data sets and this is my ANOVA table the important part of it is this number I want this to be less than 1 which is less than 1 here so that tells me uh, uh, my uh, I can assume a linear relationship and my linear relationship is valid uh, my coefficients or so this is my coefficients and these are the other important pieces I want this is my beta 0 and this is my coefficient beta 1 and uh, these are this one tells me it's uh, the slope is statistically significant and, and uh, these are the uh, confidence intervals so my equation here would be y equal uh, if you remember the equation for uh, the beta 0 or let me say b0 here plus beta 1 x and so oh, if I substitute in this one here my b0 is the intercept which is 22,789.60 uh, plus oh, uh, let me make, put this up here, out here uh, plus my slope or in this case should be negative actually since I have a negative slope 0 0.064 uh, X so if I want the price of a car where X is say uh, the miles is 30,000 I would just substitute that here so that would be uh, my Y would be equal 22 uh, minus 0 0.064 times uh, how much would we say uh, x 30,000 31 2 3 okay and then we need to do this calculation and basically I would say uh, uh, this would be uh, go up there say 22,000 seven eight nine point six zero minus this here and oh, what happened there uh, minus yeah point zero I can do it minus point zero six four times thirty one two three so that would be 20,869 so that would be the price for this okay so that's basically what you are asked to do in this uh, chapter and hope this will help thank you